if you're new here I make skincare and fashion videos and I want you all look beautiful and I want you all feel pretty and today we've got medical segment or sort of beauty segment and I'm gonna be making short videos we're going to be talking about keratosis pilaris or aka chicken skin or aka bumps on your body so this is the today's topic and I will tell you about what is keratosis pilaris why do you have it and then I will tell you how can you treat it I'll tell you how it looks like and this is just a helpful tips it's no mean to be a medical advice or anything like that it's just to help you in your beauty regime and of course if you have any concerns you do have to go and see your own doctor and you have to follow up with them regarding the correct diagnosis so keratosis pilaris or chicken skin this is disorder of hair follicles and it's chronic dry skin condition and it mostly affects uh, young adults and children approximately 40% of adults and adolescents are affected with this condition you can get it on the body on the loins on the arms and on the legs so basically the dead skin cells build up around the hair follicle and they are not naturally shed away and exfoliated so this is what causes also blockage of the hair follicle the problem with this condition is that it can be on the areas which uh, are exposed to other people uh, for example on the outer arms on the thighs on sometimes even on the cheeks or on the back so of uh, ladies who suffer with this condition they uh, have not much confidence to for example wear swimsuit they are not confident to wear short sleeve so sometimes this condition can cause um, distress to person it's not a medical condition it's actually a cosmetic condition it's also not transferable disease so the skin looks dry and sometimes scaly and there is lots of bumps on your skin and the skin looks like you've got uh, some sort of permanent goosebumps so there is accumulation of oil and sebum around the hair follicles so for example on light skin tones uh, this condition can look like red bumps or bumpy spots or it can be a red area on the skin with little little bumps and on the skin of color you're not gonna get redness but you're gonna get lots of bumps and these bumps can be of different colors it can be white color it can be light brown or even a dark brown color and if this area become itchy the spots can become even hyperpigmented so you can have like a really dark area on your skin if you are a skin of color so this condition is very common and affects mostly young adults the other thing about this condition is that it gets better as we grow older and it will disappear on its own it's not a medical condition it's actually a cosmetic condition and the next thing about this is that the, this condition is more common in people who suffer with atopic eczema with dermatitis or they have allergies so they are more likely to have this condition also this condition is inherited and if somebody in your family had this condition you are more likely to have it as well keratosis pilaris gets worse in winter and it's better in summer so we think because uh, in the winter we use more heating and this causes evaporation Operation of water from your skin so this can increase trans epidermal water loss although this condition is harmless and it's a more cosmetic condition uh, many people are affected by this uh, because it limits their activities what they can do and how they can dress keratosis pilaris can be associated with other medical conditions such as atopic eczema, allergies, xerosis and ichthyosis vulgaris. There is no treatment but we can do some sort of symptomatic management to improve the look of the skin and to exfoliate the skin. So how to get rid of keratosis pilaris? The main products to use will be moisturizers, keratolytics and exfoliants. What your skincare in keratosis pilaris should look like? So you have to know that some soaps can make um, keratosis pilaris well. It's because soaps are drying and they can increase the transepidermal water loss. And why they do it? It is because the soaps will dissolve the lipid layer on our skin and the lipid layer is necessary moisturant on our skin so when you get increased water loss your skin becomes more scaly and my advice is after you get out of shower when your skin is still wet use moisturizer a good lotion to block evaporation of the water and to lock in hydration in your skin my next tip is to use keratolytic 
cream so these creams will exfoliate the top layer of your skin of your epidermis so you can use salicylic acid creams or salicylic acid body washes for example from CeraVe which contains 3% salicylic acid and also you can use amlactin which contains lactic acid 12% uh, lactic acid is humectant so it is uh, very hydrating it attracts the water molecules so what we are talking about is that keratosis pilaris is chronic dry skin condition so lactic acid will be actually very helpful to help to moisturize your skin the other rich moisturizers which you can apply straight away when you get out of shower is Avene moisturizer it contains 30% urea and 2% BHA this is very rich moisturizer and I would apply this Avene Akerat moisturizer to areas of dryness or to the affected areas which you can apply straight away when you get out of shower the other moisturizer which is good for this condition is Eucerin which contains urea 10% and that also helps with exfoliation and hydration of your skin body washes which you can use I will be linking down below and also the best lotions you can use for this condition for face keratosis pilaris you should use uh, salicylic acid face wash and apply it only to the areas of keratosis pilaris there is also possibility you could use uh, retinols and retinoic acid to treat the areas what they help is they speed up the cell turnover and um, I would suggest you only apply to small patches if you have small areas of disease and the other thing is retinoids and um, retinols you do have to avoid in pregnancy so they are not ideal but uh, yes they are used for uh, helping and treatment in this condition the other thing which I want to say is that if you are a person of color if you have darker skin tone be careful with physical exfoliation some people rub the areas uh, with um, sponges and different brushes to rub off the dead skin cells however be careful with this because repetitive irritation in the area can cause more pigmentation what I would advise is better to do is to use exfoliants within the products so for example you can use products containing alpha hydroxy acids and this should definitely help to exfoliate the skin without causing pigmentation so remember, if you suffer from this condition, it is not the end of the world. There are ways to help it and be reassured that this condition is going to get better as you grow older and uh, try to apply some of these um, moisturizers, moisturizing lotions and body washes and uh, the other thing is you can do you can seek professional help as well um, sometimes they use lasers to treat this condition however you have to be again careful in the skin of color because that can cause discoloration so guys i hope you liked my short video and if you have any questions drop them down below i'm always happy to talk to you and follow me for more i will try to put up more of these videos give me some suggestions of the themes what you would like me to talk about it doesn't have to be the skincare it can be any other issues or health conditions so i'll see you on the next one hey, yo,